Welcome to Path 1 Frictionless Enterprise Transformer. All Frictionless Enterprise collateral, courseware, course videos, course artifacts, quizzes, learner video formatting, unfilled evaluations, and subsequent refactoring are owned by Agile Immersive. <sighs> yeah, you know, the lawyers made me say this. <laughs> Uh, you know, any attempt to exploit, sabotage, circumvent, or hack is subject to intellectual property laws and violation uh, will be prosecuted uh, in, in accordance with the laws of the state of Delaware uh, and the United States of America. Frictionless Enterprise has a best in breed program. So if you are one of the top 1% of Frictionless Enterprise executive coaches, Based on thoroughness, quality, and effectiveness of your pair of videos and correlating artifacts, you are eligible for the Best in Breed program. Agile Immersive will contact you with further details. Go ahead and open another browser and log in to Miro, M-I-R-O, in an instance that you will have access to in perpetuity. This is going to be your student board. This is the most effective way of taking Frictionless Enterprise. Use the free uh, Miro board and actually capture artifacts as you go so that while you're preparing for quizzes, doing your pair videos, and then actually using your artifacts, you have them all in a single location that's reusable and you can actually communicate through. We're gonna talk about Frictionless Enterprise as a whole and then we're going to talk about the course objectives for path one, learning objectives, artifacts, how to be successful in the quiz, how to take a pair of videos and make them successful, next steps, and giving course feedback. Frictionless enterprise cycles are built on precise thought, action, and reflection in a cumulative way. You will notice that you take quizzes, you actually do pair videos, and you are asked to reflect using artifacts and that is very intentional. After 26 years as a military and civilian leader, I have discovered that the simplest tools get the most use. Frictionless enterprise cycles are simple and powerful. Memorize them, practice them, watch transformation unfold. Path one will teach you the foundations of FLE and then teach you why you memorize, practice, and share your transformative experience with a peer routinely. Path one may be where your frictionless enterprise journey begins and remains. If you're an individual contributor, team member, te technical contributor, engineer, or scientist. Path two, three, or four are appropriate based on your current or near future scope of authority. Frictionless enterprise paths start with path one and the awareness cycle where we actually explore how we enter into what's called the learn and unlearn cycle or learn and unlearn for self-talk. And we then proceed through purpose, orientation, goal, and cadence. I would recommend you do this course over, the, uh, over 13 weeks. If you, if you have the time, please do it in 13 weeks. If you have a more compressed uh, schedule, then perhaps two weeks is your pace. Now, I've already talked to some, uh, some members uh, of our team, and some people, they said, are just going to want to slam this uh, and do path one, two, three, uh, and four as quickly as possible. Well, you're welcome to <laughs> do that uh, if you'd like, but uh, it's, it's a lot of work uh, to squeeze that much learning uh, into a compressed period of time. Uh, and, and how much will you actually retain? You know, every, every learner is different, but, you know, you have my recommendation. Path two is for frictionless enterprise people leaders. Uh, and then we're going to actually use what's called the leadership quotient, emotional intelligence, and grit evaluation uh, and really help boost your people leadership using frictionless enterprise. We're going to step through purpose cycle uh, with the leadership quotient, and then we're going to comprehensively examine the position of your team, organization, industry, and market. Uh, leverage the goal cycle so that we aim the team, aim your organization to desired direction so that you exemplify grit, ethic, work product, and behavior to actually get your team to where you like them to be. Cadence synchron uh, the cadence cycle 
uh, really leverages synchronization and sequential roadmaps, as well as the idea of Kairos, which is opportune market circumstances uh, that you can actually really place big, bold innovation bets in uh, the appropriate time. Path three is for frictionless enterprise engineering leaders, those who have the inclination toward continuous transparency and waste reduction. Uh, typically uh, have a, a significant investment in a human machine interface. Uh, we want to equip you with not just a suite of technology tools, but also the emotional intelligence to pair that uh, proclivity uh, to heighten success in your leadership of your organization. We also want to teach you how to leverage the purpose cycle to pursue alignment with business stakeholders as you formulate laser focused hypotheses and learn the business case for technology, infrastructure, and tool investments. We then take you through the orientation cycle where you discover the position of your team and organization, the goal cycle where you aim your team and your organization to desired direction, and the cadence cycle where you synchronize your sequential roadmaps with your known activity and then use frictionless enterprise techniques to, over, uh, to uncover opportune market circumstances that allow bold ideas to flourish in the marketplace. Path four is where frictionless enterprise executives start their leadership quotient, emotional intelligence, and grit evaluations, and then step into the purpose cycle where they actually leverage that leadership quotient uh, to make sure that, that every day they're allowed to uh, stay grounded in reality and actually see how work is executed in a frictionless way. Orientation cycle means that our frictionless enterprise executive coaches are masterfully examining the position of their teams, organizations, industries, and markets, uh, and then considering their own emotional intelligence and grit using our evaluations and our other artifacts uh, going forward. The goal cycle for FLEC is to aim your team and your organization toward your desired direction, leveraging grit, ethic, work product, and behavior and then leveraging the cadence cycle to synchronize sequential roadmaps and make sure that as we take and retake uh, leadership quotient, emotional intelligence, and grit evaluations, that we are learning and improving the dimensions uh, where we have opportunity. Okay, comprehensively, uh, if, you wanted to do, <laughs> if you wanted to do everything, uh, the FLET or Fleet Transformer, Friction Enterprise Transformer, and the FLEP, the Friction Enterprise People Leader, are all credentials that can be done in as little as two weeks. Uh, if you have more senior enterprise paths in path three and path four, those paths will take three weeks uh, because there's a level of mastery uh, that is expected uh, at, those, uh, at those paths. Uh, the the uh, quizzes have a higher um, uh, bar for there to be passage. Instead of 80% uh, for FLET and FLEP, uh, you actually have to pass 85% of your quiz uh, for FLEE, uh, engineer, and FLEC, executive coach. All right. Our course objectives uh, for path one are going to be to learn the neuroscience of unconscious behavior, and why intentionally unlearning bad habits is crucial as you learn new habits. Our path one learning objectives are for 1.1, create our first frictionless enterprise artifact, which is called our self-talk log. Then talk through why is healthy, what is healthy self-talk and how do we build awareness of, of, of healthy and unhealthy self-talk. Next, we're gonna talk about influence. Who do you influence and who influences you. Then we're gonna talk about how do business relationships shape your influence. Then we're gonna create your frictionless enterprise value web of self-talk, relationships, values, and learn your awareness state. We're gonna complete this uh, path one awareness cycle learning by creating a, a pair video with a pair of your choosing uh, that does not have to be, a, be a, a frictionless enterprise subscriber. However, we do recommend that whoever you pair with actually knows you, uh, you know, has some familiarity with you and perhaps even the work that you do. Okay, we're going to generate 
a high volume of artifacts. That's exactly why at the beginning of this course I said, go ahead and open a Miro now. Uh, have a digital whiteboard where you can capture not just the artifacts, but notes about those artifacts. You can prepare for quizzes. Quizzes are open book, open notes. Um, they are limited to five minutes, so you need to be able to reference uh, what you're learning quickly. Um, and so we also recommend that you potentially back everything up either on a Dropbox, a Google Drive, or Apple iCloud associated with a subscription email and permissions be sent to admin at agileimmersive.com as a backup as well. So we will partner with you in making sure that all of the artifacts that you re you are creating, you can recreate just in case something, you know, catastrophic happens to some of your technology. However, please know we recommend that you back up your work in a cloud, uh, in a, either in a free cloud or even a paid cloud environment so that you will be a uh, successful FLET going forward. Individual subscribers are the only people who have access to their own evaluations as you get into path uh, two, three, and four uh, for leadership quotient, emotional intelligence, or grit. No Agile Immersive employee has or will ever have access to individual evaluation results. We do not keep your evaluations. They're immediately expunged as soon as you press next. So you must keep your own evaluation results. Agile Immersive will not. To be successful on quizzes, uh, you obviously have to be a subscriber and you need to watch the course content. Uh, once you've watched the course content, the start quiz button will be enabled and you can press it and start your quiz. To be successful on your quiz, quizzes are uh, between 10 to 12 questions each. You have five minutes to answer all 10 to 12 questions. Uh, they are relatively straightforward if you read the material and watch the videos. We say that Frictionless Enterprise Path 1 takes between 30, potentially even 40 hours of courseware, coursework because we ask that you not only watch this video, but you also read the material. Some of the material is very you know, light and easy to kind of get through. Some of the material is a bit more dense and you need to spend some time with it to make sure that you understand it so that you can use the information in your artifacts, on your quizzes, and obviously in your pair videos. You'll also be able to go uh, back and forwards in your quizzes uh, if you want to go uh, to previous questions or next questions. Um, if you are not successful, uh, you don't accomplish 80% uh, for that particular quiz, take heart, you can always retake the quiz, it's okay. Eighty percent is required for further content to be unlocked. And no, we will not make exceptions. If you're struggling to pass a quiz, we ask that you stop, do something else, and then return to memorize the objectives. We test literally based on the objectives and sub-objectives that we write. In other words, what we're communicating to you that we want you to learn, we're going to ask you, have you learned it? It's just we're you know, very transparent and straightforward, okay? Uh, and also, please reread the material. For you to be successful on your pair video, you can use a smartphone, you can use a, a digital camera. Uh, as long as it creates a, an MP4, it is uh, going to set you up for success. The pair video should be around two minutes. If it's slightly less, that's okay. If it's slightly more, that's okay. Um, but make sure you do not edit the ums, ahs, pauses, even mistakes in your pair video. As long as you're communicating the objectives that have been requested, you will be successful. Please speak clearly. Show your entire face. Eyebrow to chin should be visible. Your pair should be familiar with you, but they do not have to be a subscriber. You can choose a camera angle as long as we can see your face and you're looking at your pair and or they are a part of the conversation that you are having as you are sharing artifacts, information, knowledge. And it should be a live human being. 
<laughs> okay, yeah, anyway. <laughs> so, you know, if you wanna use a virtual tool, so in other words, you don't wanna be face-to-face, -face, you can use Zoom, you can use WebEx, you can use video chat, as long as the output is an MP4. Do not edit ums, ahs, pauses. Mistakes are okay. We need to see your entire face. Your pair does not have to be a subscriber. If you're asked to reload a pair video for any reason, please make sure that every permission is, uh, is, is enabled for admin at agileimmersive.com. Uh, in the uh, Dropbox, Google Drive, or Apple iCloud account that you're sending us. Make sure that you speak clearly uh, in that next, that next attempt. Make sure that you do not edit. Uh, please do not use notes. We will analyze both eye movement and mouth movement to make sure that you are speaking from memory, not note cards that your friend has on their shirt. And we have means, we have both digital means and other means to know uh, if you're doing this right, okay? All right.